see here. Bob.
Thank you. <laughs> that was wonderful. I, I said the 7.30 Mass because that was the first time that Andrew had done that. I said I felt like I was coming out of a birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> well, a very blessed feast of Mary, the mother of God. What a wonderful way to enter into this new year of God's life and God's grace. So, Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year to you happy all. New happy New Year, Father. Awesome, thank you. Just one simple announcement. Um, mass tomorrow on Monday is canceled, so there's no noon Mass tomorrow. And this Mass is um, graciously offered for my intentions. So, as we gather this morning, um, just let us be mindful of God's blessings for this past year, God guiding us in the midst of all our challenges and difficulties, and just open our hearts to the grace of God's blessings for this new year. So, as we gather, take some extra time to welcome and greet each other so that Deacon John can get back to the baptismal font in time. <laughs> so let's stand and welcome one another. of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, as we continue to celebrate this great Christmas season, 
as we celebrate Mary, the Mother of God, and give her honor. Let us, as her children, humbly acknowledge our sin and ask the Lord for healing grace and mercy. Lord Jesus, Son of the Father, made flesh for us. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Lord Jesus, you are our hope of glory, our Emmanuel. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison.
O God, who through the fruitful virginity of the Blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, this is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke my name upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we are 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherd went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph, and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what they had been told by them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in her womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Before I begin my homily, let us pause and remember Pope Benedict with a moment of silent prayer. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual life shine upon him. May his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Pope Benedict, a monumental figure in the life of the church. He was a brilliant theologian, especially his contribution to the Second Vatican Council was enormous. He worked closely with Pope St. John Paul II and was a figure not without controversy. But how can you be Pope these days without controversy? So may now he share in eternal rest. Well, as we begin a new calendar year, the church brings to close the eight-day octave of Christmas by celebrating Mary, the mother of God. Mary is an extraordinary individual. She is the first and model disciple of Jesus. Together with Joseph, in all humility and faithfulness, she points us always to her son, Jesus. It's not about her, it's about her son. And so in her honor, I want to offer a simple New Year's gift and practice for the coming year. Now, I have mentioned this in the past, and yet I find new relevance in suggesting it to you for the year 2023. It is rooted in our first reading. We all know that our world is so busy. Our days are filled with so much. Our calendars are crowded. At home, at work, at school, we find ourselves rushing around. Family schedules sometimes look like what happened with air travel last weekend over Christmas. Things get lost and people get stuck. Well, sometimes we simply do not have the time just to be. To be with one another and for one another. Therefore, I want to offer a simple gift of blessing. Now, to bless means to make holy, to ask God's favor, to set aside for a special purpose, to consecrate. In our first reading, we are given the words of Aaron's priestly blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. What a beautiful blessing. And year after year, it is as if the Catholic Church yearns to consecrate the entire world to God through the Blessed Mother. Well, following the Church's lead, I propose, if I can turn my page, that we make 2023 an intentional year of blessing. I want to make this simple and easy, yet meaningful and purposeful. So this is how it works. Parents, I'll start with you. Before your children leave your home each day, or you take them to school or whatever it might be, one by one, look at them in their eyes, and then make the sign of the cross on their forehead, praying, may the Lord bless you and keep you. I love you. And then give them a kiss and send them on their way. Now you might want to use these words or similar words, but use words that really reflect God's blessing for them. And then I want to suggest you do something very similar when you get them ready for bed at night. Begin and end their day with blessing them, asking God's favor over them, consecrating them to God each day. 
Now, spouses, I ask that you do the same for each other. You know, before you enter into today's activity at some point, look at each other in the eyes and then make the sign of the cross on each other's forehead and pray, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. I love you. And then give each other a kiss and send each other into the day. Now you might, again, not use those words exactly, but whatever words you use, allow them to come from your heart, from a place of love, and care, and concern. Beginning and ending your day, blessing one another, asking for God's protection and care, asking that the Blessed Mother or St. Joseph to intercede for each other is a great gift that you can give to each other on a daily basis. And it might be just the thing to help you get through the day. Now, the best way to learn something, as I've been told over and over again, is that you do it. So, parents, look at your kiddos one by one. Look at them in the eye. Go ahead and do that right now. And then make the sign of the cross on their forehead and pray, may the Lord bless you and ki keep you. I love you. And give him a kiss. Okay? All right. Spouses, it's your turn. Okay? Look at each other. Okay? Make the sign of the cross on your foreheads. Go ahead. May the Lord bless you and keep you. And then give him a kiss. Now, if you're here by yourself this morning, I am available in the gathering space after Mass. <laughs> so do not hesitate to come up, bless my head, and give me a kiss. Well, my hope and my prayer is that this will become part of your family's daily life. I also pray that we might begin to do this for one another when we gather on Sundays, to walk up to each other, our friends, maybe somebody we haven't seen for a while, and just simply say, may I bless you, and make the sign of the cross on their foreheads and, and bless them with a simple prayer. You know, I pray that we become a people of blessing, a people of prayer, a people who ask God to bless each other and not be afraid or embarrassed to do so. And I, I pray that this will become an essential element of our parish culture, of who we are. I pray that St. Michael Parish be transformed into a blessing, a people praying with and for each other, and a people praying and consecrating the world to God. You know, our world is so in need of blessing. It needs people close to God interceding on its behalf. So let us make this year a year of blessing, praying for and with one another, with our families, with our friends, co-workers, fellow students. Now, I wish that I could lift up my hand and touch each of your foreheads and bless you. But I can't do that. So would you do me a favor and please look at me and feel my hand on your forehead as I pray. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look kindly upon you and give you his peace. God's blessing this new year.
Let us profess our faith. And let us do so, mindful of consecrating the world through Mary to her son Jesus. I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God of God, God, light of light, 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 true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was born of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified and much despised. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He descended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And this kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Lord of God, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and Lord, who has spoken through the cross. I believe in one and only Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I know the Lord of the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. We turn to the Lord with humble trust and offer our prayers. For the church, may we all follow Mary's example in bringing Jesus into the world, that all people might hear the good news of salvation, we pray. The Lord, hear our prayer. As we celebrate the beginning of this new year, may all people turn their hearts back to God that our world may enter a time of true peace and harmony, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May all expectant mothers be inspired by the joy of Mary's heart as she carried our Lord in her womb, and in turn give love and birth to their own babies, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May this new year bring happiness and blessings to all who are suffering due to the poverty, sickness, loneliness, or war especially those in our parish, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And that Pope Benedict XVI, called to the heavenly kingdom by the Lord, may rejoice forever at the banquet table of heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious and loving God, hear us as we cry out to you. Hear us as we offer those prayers that are deep within our hearts this morning. Answer them according to your gracious and loving will. For we pray in the name of Jesus, born of Mary, your Son, our Savior, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Amen. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us, who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginning of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty, and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of her virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim 
worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, 
in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. Grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, O Lord, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with Saint Michael, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So now let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Behold him, born of Mary. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Welcome our Eucharistic visitors to the homebound. Reminder that after Mass, we do have prayer ministry available in the Blessed Pierre Giorgio room off on the left-hand side as you go back into the gathering space. Also, hospitality. Our SMP Cafe is open, so please stop by for a cup of coffee, a glass of juice, a donut, and most of all, just time to be with one another. Evelyn, Dennis, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you. May the Lord walk with you as you bring this Holy Eucharist for those who are in need. And through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, may you truly share, cherish her son Jesus and bring that love to those whom you serve. For we pray in Jesus' name, our Emmanuel, God with us forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Father Jim, it is your birthday. You are correct, Deacon John. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think it's very appropriate that we give you that blessing, the carrying of God's love in your heart. Thank you. Lord Jesus, we ask your blessings upon Father Jim. May he continue to love you and serve you. May he be the, the voice of, of your love and your presence. Lord, I know you love him so much. So right now, Lord, I just ask you to give him a bear hug of your love. Just wrap your arms around him. Give him a squeeze of that joy and that love. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I felt the squeeze. It was... <laughs> the Bow down for the blessing. I need the missile. Please respond amen after each of the blessing prayers. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you peace, pour out his blessings in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout this new year. Amen. May God give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May God order your days and your deeds in his peace, Grant your prayers in this and in every place and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. So now let us go in peace, give glory and praise to our God. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks be God. to God. Saint, Saint Michael, Michael. Michael. Michael.